What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fallout video and today I'm bringing you the updated version of our All Working Glitches series and this is the DLC free version. So there's not going to be any DLC required for the glitches I'm about to be showing you so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video make sure you like subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so the first glitch I'm showing right now is just the standard duplication glitch for Fallout 4 and the reason I'm showing this first is just because it is used in many glitches in the rest of this video. So what you want to do is get any material that you want to duplicate. As you can see right here, I'm duplicating nuclear material. You could do this with any scrap in the game. I'm just using nuclear material just because it's one of the harder uh, junks to find. But now just go into workshop mode and this is where the timing comes in. You want to hover over the item that you want to duplicate and press square. And then very, very quickly after you press square, press circle. Like a minuscule amount of time, so square circle. And you will know you have done the glitch right whenever you see the prompt to scrap the material that you just tried to duplicate. And followed by that, there will be this screen right here that says store nuke material in the workshop. Just go ahead and press yes, and then leave workshop mode. Head over to your workbench, and then go and look and see the material that you duplicated should now be doubled. So I had 500, or 1,000, I mean, going into this. So now I should have 2,000 in my workbench. And as you can see, right here, we have 2,000 nuclear material. Now, when you take them out and then drop them on the ground, you will notice there will be two of them just because you duplicated them. Um, just go ahead and drop them on the ground and then pick them both back up. And then once you place them on the ground again, there will only be one of them. So that is pretty much how you do this glitch. It's really, really easy. It's just all about timing. You got to get used to it. But this glitch is used for a variety of glitches in this game. And a few of them I'm going to be showing is in the remainder of this video. Alright, so this next glitch is actually how to duplicate bottle caps. So what you are going to need to do is know how to do that duplication glitch that I just showed you, and you're going to have to have a trader. Now, it doesn't really matter which one, I'm just doing the most expensive one because it yields the most bottle caps, and that is the weapons emporium. So what you want to do is just place down the trader and then do the square and circle on PS4 tactic that I showed you in the duplication glitch and you will know you've done the glitch right whenever there should be one in your inventory and it says that you got the bottle caps from scrapping it so you're going to get 1500 bottle caps in my case using the weapons emporium and uh, it'll say that you have one in your workbench stored so obviously that duplicated so now you can just place down the one that it says is stored and then sell that one again and just keep repeating this process until you have your desired amount of bottle caps that you want now, you're going to see your bottle caps going up in the uh, Weapons Emporium like build with screen, but whenever you go and look in your pit boy, you're going to see that you're not going to have those bottle caps. But what you want to do is just go over to your workbench and go to the miscellaneous tab and you will see that your bottle caps will be inside of there. They just get stored to your workbench for some reason whenever you scrap those. So as you can see, here are all my bottle caps waiting for me right here and that is pretty much how you do the glitch. It's pretty simple, just like the other glitch. Um, it just It's all about timing once again. Alright guys, so for this XP glitch, you are going to need a few things. Now, you're going to be have to be duplicating a ton of copper for this glitch, so just use the duplication glitch that I showed you, and you're also going to need the two picket fences magazines to actually build statues. Now, these can be located at Saugus Ironworks. Just look up another video on YouTube, there's plenty of them showing this. Now just go to the decorations tab, go to statues, and I would recommend using this statue or the other small statue just because... Uh, you can run out of space very, very quickly inside of your settlement. But now, basically, once you've duplicated all the copper, just spam down these statues. As you can see, you can place a lot of them in one area just because they stack up so well. But you're going to be getting a ton of XP, around 300 to 250, depending on what level you are, um, every time you place one of these down. So as you can see, your XP goes up very, very quickly. Now, this is the XP method I used to get to a really, really high level originally in the game until I figured out the... Uh, robot workbench one but obviously that requires a DLC and this is the best duplication glitch or the best XP glitch that we have on Fallout 4 that doesn't require any DLC. Now once you are done with the glitch just go ahead and delete all the statues or if you run out of size it can eat up your base size so you may want to go to a location that is not as filled up. Alright guys, so for this next XP glitch, you will need some adhesive, cloth, glass, and oil. Now once you have those materials, you will also need the Demolitions Expert perk because you are going to be crafting some things out of the uh, Chemistry Workbench. So once you know that you have that perk, or you've gotten that perk, just go to a Chemistry Workbench, and you want to go down to the uh, Grenades 
option and then select the Molotov cocktail and just basically just spam whatever button it is to craft that and you will get about 15 XP per cocktail and you can press the button several times a second so think about how much XP you're getting you can see on screen so about every time it updates it's about 100 to 130 uh, XP this is one of the better XP glitches that does not require any DLC and it's very very useful if you are one of the lower levels if you're level 50 to 60 or above I'd stick with just the normal statue glitch that I just showed you Alright guys, for this next bottle cap glitch, you are going to need to be sided with the Minutemen. Now, just come to the castle. It's on the coast, kind of southeast of Sanctuary. Um, most people know where it is, but if you don't, it's right here. Basically, all you gotta do is just have this little armory to my left unlocked. It's not really that hard either. You get it pretty quickly once you uh, conquer the castle. But go into the little armory room, and you will see a little yellow box with flares and anti-smoke grenades in them. Go ahead, just take them, walk out kind of where I am. Go back in and you will see that they have magically spawned back. Now just continuously go into this room and leave this room getting as many of the uh, flares and anti-smoke grenades that you need, that you believe you need, and once you have your desired amount just go to any preferred vendor, I chose the one in Diamond City, and basically just sell him the flares that you've gotten. Now they sell for about one bottle cap a piece, but it's not hard to get hundreds of these per minute, so you actually have the potential to make a ton of bottle caps here. As you can see, I had 110, so I sold it for 110 bottle caps. It's pretty easy money. This is a good way to save up for the Weapons Emporium and the other glitch, so you have the potential to make even more bottle caps. Alright, so for this next XP glitch, you will have to be sided with the Brotherhood of Steel and have the Pridwin unlocked. But the Pridwin is going to be located just north of the castle, or if you want to think of it like southeast of Sanctuary. Most people know where this is, but I'm just showing it just in case. But once you are here, you're just going to make your way inside of the Pridwin. Once you are inside of here, just go past this little flight of stairs and go up onto the main deck. And this is going to lead you to the actual guy we want to talk to, who is Proctor Quinlan. But he's just going to be directly straight down this hallway on the first right. Go in here and talk to him. Now, there's going to be a few prompts that he's going to want you to do. It's going to deal with technical documents and other things like that. But what we're here for is actually the assist on patrol. Just go ahead and select that option. He's going to talk about a bunch of other things that really doesn't matter to you, but you are going to have to just exhaust his little dialogue, and it's going to give you the learning curve mission. Now, this is what you actually want to do. Come back out onto the main deck, and now you are going to need some sort of ranged weapon, preferably with a scope, because that's going to make it easiest. But just head out to the very end of the Pridwin, so you are kind of far away from any other people. Get on these little uh, boxes right here, and then go ahead and sneak. So make sure you are hidden because if you shoot while you're up here and you shoot one of the Brotherhood Scribes, you are going to be aggroed by the Brotherhood of Steel and you'll become enemies with them and they'll start shooting at you. But basically, just come and kill the Scribe and it'll get a little Return of Proctor Quidlin uh, notification because you have basically failed the mission because the Scribe has died. Go back to Proctor Quinlan, he's going to tell you about how it was a shame that she died and all that stuff like that, but basically just exhausts all... Uh, dialogue again and he will eventually give you some bottle caps and some XP now it depends on how much you get depending on what level you are but the higher you are the more you're going to get um, this is basically kind of better for the lower levels kind of 100 and below it's kind of useless for people who are over level 100 this glitch is relatively simple and all you're really going to need is a companion, a legendary weapon, and a non-legendary weapon, as well as a weapons workbench. So, once you do have the two weapons, I would recommend getting all weapons out of your inventory except for the two you're trying to glitch. Now, go up to your companion and go ahead and trade him the weapon that does not have the legendary effects. Once you have done that, this is where the workbench comes into play. Go ahead and command your companion. Go ahead and look at the weapons workbench. Look back, press trade, and press craft before the tr uh, screen comes in to trade with your companion. So you should be in this kind of dual glitch screen. What you want to do now is go ahead and take the weapon that you gave to your companion back and put it into your inventory. And then this is where things get a little bit tricky. Uh, go down to a mod that's not going to cause anything to get rid of, so that can be getting rid of a suppressor or a bayonet or anything like that, and um, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So once you are in this screen, you kind of want to maneuver your little cursor in the background so it's hovering over your legendary weapon. As you can see right now, I'm hovering over the no muzzle mod, but I'm 
over the suppressed rapid combat rifle so it wouldn't work so once you're hovered over both no muzzle and overseer's guardian or your whatever legendary effect you have go ahead and just press x to go ahead and make the no muzzle mod and then press it again to confirm it and then now it should say the name of the legendary effect on the weapon that did not previously have a legendary effect once you have done this just keep pressing circle and backing out of all the screens it may take a little bit it gets kind of glitchy but once you have done that, the glitch is pretty much done. You will now have a legendary effect on the gun that you do not previously had one on. Now, before you try to put an effect on two different guns, it will not work and it will actually crash your game. And I can't really find any way to fix that. So I'm sorry about that. It can only work from a combat rifle to a combat rifle or the same pistol to the same pistol. You can't go from a combat rifle to a pistol. But... This glitch is still really, really useful, guys, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So all you're going to need for this glitch is a armor workbench and two sets of armor. Now, as you can see right here, I have the marine armor and a heavy trapper armor. So take one of each kind that you're going to need, so I'm doing the chest piece for the marine and the chest piece for the uh trapper armor and also i would recommend taking off all the clothes they have on right now because it just makes your inventory a little more clean now go to your armor workbench and then name it so that your armor that you want to basically be on top uh make it one period and then name your other armor two periods so as you can see right here i have the marine combat armor on the top and the trapper armor on the bottom now what you want to do is just go ahead and exit the station and then go ahead and quick save just in case you do it wrong. Um, I don't want you losing your armor or anything like that because you will have to scrap it. So next go back into your armor workbench and then hover over the first item at the top with the one period. You're going to want to press scrap and modify at the same exact time. So for PS4 that's going to be square and X at the same time and you should get this little scrap item screen. Once you have done that you want to go ahead and scrap the item. Once you have done that, press right on the D-pad and then go down and basically just modify the uh, piece of armor in however way you want to. Now press back, uh, go to miscellaneous on the other item and then go ahead and just put a modification on that one. And then you can just X out of all the screens. Now that you have done that, basically you can wear two chest pieces at the same exact time as long as it's the one that you glitched. Um, it basically doesn't register as it's on your person anymore, so you can equip them two at a time. So in case you're needing some more help, press scrap and modify at the same exact time. I recommend using the same exact finger um, because I feel like it just makes the timing easier. Alright everybody, so that is pretty much all the glitches I had to show you today. I tried to pick the best ones that don't require any DLC for the people that don't have the Season Pass or the Game of the Year Edition or just don't feel like spending that money because I definitely understand it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.